We're going to begin tonight with a Clayton County police officer fighting for her life after being shot by a woman whose family says she was in the middle of a mental health crisis. And tonight we're learning new details about what led up to that shooting of Officer Demika Lloyd. Officer Lloyd is currently being cared for at Grady Hospital, and that's where we find our Paola Suro joining us tonight. And Paola, what are you learning this evening? Well, guys, I just checked in with the Clayton County Police Department, and they tell me that she is still in critical condition here at Grady Hospital. I also spoke with one of her friends and former colleagues, and he tells me she was just on vacation before this happened. It's kind of surreal right now, but she's very family-oriented, especially with her daughter. She still calling her baby, even though she's like 14 years old. This brand new photo from the GBI shows the moment after Clayton County officer D'Amica Lloyd was shot and sent to the hospital. You can see it unfold in this security camera video. Police say Lloyd was shot by a woman who they believe was suicidal and who later drove to Atlanta and was shot by an Atlanta police officer. Stuff can change in the blink of an eye. It hit different when you actually know the person and then been knowing him for a long time. Ronnie Perkins says he met Lloyd in the military over a decade ago and worked together in the National Guard. He says that although she joined the Clayton County Police Department a year and a half ago, she was still helping soldiers there. She loved what she do. The one weekend a month, we drive down to Savannah and cook for the soldiers down there. Family members of 25-year-old Ayanna Pryor, the woman who allegedly shot Lloyd, say she was experiencing a mental health crisis. Departments across Georgia are changing their approach when it comes to mental health health calls. In Gwinnett County, the police department and behavioral health center are working together. They have a behavioral health responder on duty seven days a week. You see a lot of need for this type of unit. Meanwhile, Cobb, Gwinnett, Forsyth, and athens Clark counties have co-responding teams to help. Both athens Clark County and Cobb County are also working on adding a social worker to the dispatch team to handle mental health related calls. APD is looking into the same idea. When you've got one person that's having some kind of mental crisis and they've called 911, you know, two dozen times in, in the month, you being able to get them the help they need and keep them from unnecessarily calling 911. Now, Perkins tells me he's coming here to Grady Hospital tomorrow to check on Officer Lloyd. In the meantime, he's asking everyone for prayers for his friend, who he describes as caring, hardworking, and down to earth, as well as for her daughter.